Hello everyone. I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to create an account at Carsey. The first thing to do is open up a web browser. I've opened Firefox here. And you can go to carsey.unm.edu. That's the main website for uh, the Carsey Center. And then you're going to click on Get Started at Carsey. And we have instructions that we've written to get things rolling. On this page is a link to moki.alliance.unm.edu. Let's click that. And of course, if you like, you can type this link in um, directly into your browser. And there's a link here on this page that says Create Account. Let's click that. This tool will allow you to create an account automatically at Carsey if you have an email address ending in salud.unm.edu or unm.edu. We may expand that list of approved domains in the future, but right now those are the two domains that we allow automatic account creation from. Let's go ahead and enter in an email address that ends in unm.edu. I'm going to blur out the uh, account information for this person whose account I'm borrowing. And then we can choose a login name for Carsey. Notice that login name does not have to be the same as your UNM email address login. And then we're going to enter in some um, personal information, first name, last name, an initial password, and then there's a capture to complete. and we can create the account. All right, so the account was created successfully. The username that we asked for was available, so that's been assigned to us. And now it says we need to verify our email address to activate the account. So we're gonna to go to our email, and we find that there is an email from Moki called front.alliance.unm.edu. Let's click on that. And it says that we recently created an account, and now we're going to verify it. Click this Verify Your Account button. And once I click that link, I get another confirmation email saying that the account has been approved and created. So this whole process takes under five minutes. Now that we've created an account, we can log in to the Carsey systems. Uh, you can use any SSH client that you'd like for that. Um, all modern operating systems have SSH clients built in. Uh, you can use PowerShell or Terminal. PowerShell is for Windows. Terminal is for Mac. I'm going to use a third-party one called MOBA Xterm. It has a few extra bells and whistles. Uh, I'm going to create a new session. We're going to select SSH. And you can log into any Carsey cluster you have access to. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose Hopper. Specify the username that we chose earlier with uh, Moki. And then press OK to connect. All right, we're prompted for a password. I'm going to enter the password that we set through Moki. And if the password is accepted, Mobile Xterm will offer to save it for you. I'm going to say yes. All right. And we get a message. Let's zoom out a little bit. All right. It says, welcome to the Hopper cluster at UNM Center for Advanced Research Computing. To access Hopper, please ask your Carsey PI to add you to one of their projects with a Hopper resource allocation. All right. So... We've created an account, we're in the Carsey system, but only by um, joining a project that has access to the Hopper cluster can we actually log into Hopper. And the same for the other clusters at Carsey. So the next step is to ask our PI to add us to their project that has access to the cluster we want to join. In another tutorial, I'll show you how to um, add users to your projects how to add resources like clusters to your project if you're a PI. Thanks for watching.